what's going on guys so today we're out at the range and today's video is going to be on some of my favorite drills when i'm out here some of them are low round count some of them just work fundamentals so this is completely cold this will be the first target of the day today we're going to be doing the fast drill so basically you have your circle your head box you're going to go back to the seven yard line you're going to put two in the head side lock reload four in the body uh there's different levels for this uh less than five is expert that's what we're going to be shooting for i've only ever done that once but we'll see how it goes so let's head back to the seven yard line which the range conveniently marks by putting the stands seven feet or uh, seven yards apart so we'll get the timer ready remember guys press checks are free By the way, it's a clean time or two. Okay, so I fumbled my reload a little bit, but it was a 5.62, and it was clean, so. With my two headshots, one, two, three, four. Again, that was in a 5.62. Had I not fumbled my reload, that would have been clean and under the par time. Uh, I'll head back to this drill later on in the day, but really quick. So this is just a great low round count drill. Uh, really works your fundamentals. This is where in dry fire, when you're practicing your reloads, you're really getting the most out of it. So yeah, this is the fast drill you can get these online just google fast drill and it's a printable target that last run on the uh, fast drill was way too close for me to not give it a try right after so i have a clean target up there we're back at the seven yard line i've got a clean timer so we're gonna go for it again i'm really hoping to run this clean on video so Clean. If I can clean up my first draw, that would have been perfect. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six. That was in a 511. So we're right there. We're so close to that expert, but hey, we're still less than seven seconds. So that's at the advanced level. But yeah, this is definitely a great drill that you guys might want to try. Like I said, you can print these off. And this works great fundamentals. It works your draw to first shot and it works throttle control. Everything can be fast up to the draw. So once you get your gun out, that's where it can be fast. But once you get your gun out, that's where you need to work your throttle control. Make sure you're seeing your dot, you're aligning it because that's a small box. Make sure your trigger, so gun is clear. Make sure when you're presenting, you can start to find the wall. You wanna be on that wall. As soon as your dot is on target, break the shot. So yeah, this is a great drill to work. I highly would recommend taking this uh, out to your next range trip. It's only six rounds each time you attempt. That's pretty low round count, but uh, yeah, definitely give this one a try. All right guys, so another drill that I really like to do, even though it frustrates the hell out of me, is the three sevens drill from tier one concealed. Basically, it's seven yards, seven rounds, seven seconds. You start with three rounds in your mag with a spare mag that has four rounds. You draw, put one in the one inch circle, transition, two in the two inch, slide lock reload, three in the three inch, and then one in the one inch. This really works your throttle control. Um, we're just gonna give it a go. I don't know if I'll ever get to run this thing clean, but let's go for it. I really shanked my first shot. Like that's so far off, it's not even funny. Same thing happened here. Um, I don't have an excuse for it. One, two, three, that's a line break. I'd take that if this was an actual run. And then, yeah, that's still a line break, but uh, I'm probably uh, 
gonna give this one more go because it's only seven rounds. I'd like to get a coin for it, but uh, yeah, we'll give it one more. All right, go. guys, so we're back out here. We're gonna take another attempt at the three sevens. I'm not gonna throw too much uh, ammo and time on this drill, but uh, we're gonna go for it and see what happens. Seven yards. So that's a six nine seven. And I don't know if we'll call that a line break or not. I, oh God, I shanked that one just a little low. It kind of cracked right there. I got that, that's three shots, that's one. I might, I don't know, we'll let, I might send this to tier one and let them decide. It's probably, they're probably gonna go a no-go on it, but that's a six, nine, okay, seven. Guys, so another drill that I really like to do because it's only six rounds and this really tests your recoil control and honestly your trigger finger. So we're gonna be doing the classic build drill. It's seven yards into a pretty generous hitbox. I mean, this is a standard A-zone hitbox. If you keep all six rounds in this, uh, your recoil control is pretty good. The standard is two seconds. So two seconds from concealment, all six rounds in an A-zone hitbox. So we're gonna run back to the seven yard line. Okay. Check our gear, got five rounds in there, one in the pipe. We're gonna do, you can see a clean target. We're gonna see if we can get That was a 262 first shot 151. I could really clean up that first shot. Uh, even the target's a little upset. You can see the little frowny face I made here. Even he's upset that it wasn't sub two. All right, guys, another drill I really like to do, basically called the test. You're at 10 yards, 10 rounds, 10 seconds on a clean B8. Uh, basically, every shooter's dream is to have everything in the 10 ring or better yet in the X ring. For a perfect uh, 100 all 10 X's realistically you're going for speed and accuracy working your recoil control working your trigger press working a, an acceptable sight picture so we're back at the 10 yard line I got a clean b8 up there we're gonna do a clean timer we're just gonna see what we can get shooter ready stand by I'm shooting way too fast. That is a 644. But hey, that's still a 99. I only dropped one round out of the 10 ring. Oh, geez. Well, it was a 644. There you go. I'm not sure what happened there, what it picked up, but you can see a 644 in 10 rounds. And that is done with a four inch Walther PDP. This gun is clear, as you can see. Uh, I have a CNH plate with an Aimpoint Acro and a Surefire X300 UB 1000 lumen model. Um, this gun has continued to impress me. Um, Overall, I'm very happy with it. It puts out pretty good groups. It's pretty easy to control for a very light polymer framed gun. Um, I did a review. You can go on the channel, see that. But uh, yeah, I definitely recommend. You can print these out. Tap Rack Tactical has these on their website. This is a Sentinel Concept, Steve Fisher, or Yeti, whatever you want to call them. This is his target, but you can print these out or you can go on Amazon and order full B8 targets. But yeah, I'm pretty happy at a 99 with that. All right, guys, so another drill I really like to do, uh, Sage Dynamics, Aaron Cowan, great shooter. I'd love to take a class with him. 
Here's a drill called the Eleanor. Uh, low round count, it's only four rounds, but the goal is to draw, put one round in that one inch circle in the head, and then three in the little box on the bottom. Basically, you're looking at four shots, but it's a two and a half second par time. I've run this clean once before. Let's see if we can do it again. So no, that was not clean. That was in a two, five, eight, and it's because I dropped the shots all low. You can see, now that's not me taking into account my mechanical offset. So this dot is zeroed for 15 yards. I'm at three yards. So realistically, I should be aiming about up here, but I'm not, uh, I'm not fixing it. That's just me. So I'll throw up a clean target. We'll give it one more run. All right, guys, we're going to give the Eleanor one more go. Like I said, I need to work on my mechanical offset. But we're at the three yard line. Let's see if we can do we can do that in a the two and a half second part time. And there we have a, uh, a clean Eleanor. So two, four, three. One, two, three, four. In two, four, three again, running the four inch Walther PDP with an aim point acro. This dot is freaking awesome too. But uh, yeah, I'm really, really happy with that. So this is a really good low round count drill, four rounds. That's all it takes is four rounds. Work on your mechanical offset if you have your dot zeroed differently. I did it this time and worked out so great. ready to wrap up the range day. Um, this is a target that you can run cold it's called the Bear Solutions Cold Start Drill. However, I like to run it at the beginning and at the end of my range day. Basically, you know, start of the range day, gets your uh, toe in the water. Now at the end of the range day, just lets me know, you know, this is what you worked on today. Let's put it into practice. So we're at five yards, clean target. It's basically 10 rounds in a mag, three in a spare. You'll do five in a box, transition five, slide lock reload three in the small so you're going to work your speed and your transitions then you're going to work your throttle control to get those three good hits in the small box so we got a clean timer stand by so i was in an 804 Fumbled my reload a little bit, doesn't matter. Um, there's five good hits, five good hits, slide lock, one, two, three. And again, that was in a 804. So a really great thing about this is you get to work your transitions. Uh, shooters way better than me make that transition look like they didn't even stop. They're gonna ride the recoil over and they're just gonna break the shot again. I'm not quite to that level yet, I'm getting there, but uh, those three good shots there. I'm really happy with that. I need to work on my reloads a little bit more. This gun doesn't really have much of a flared magwell. I'm hoping uh, somebody's gonna come out with something for that here soon. But yeah, this, uh, this is a great drill. You can print these off too. This is the Bear Solutions Cold Start. Uh, you can run it three, five, seven meters for rifle. You can do five, seven, or 10. Uh, I believe, that the par time for this is nine seconds. Um, I did it at five yards in, what was it? 8.04. So well within the par time, uh, 13 rounds, not exactly low round count, but it's still a great drill nonetheless. I highly recommend you give it a try. Okay guys, so I have one round left, literally. Empty mag, one round left. I have downrange a tiny little post-it note so i'm gonna go on the timer this isn't really a drill this is just me testing my proficiency at range wind's blowing a little bit moving that uh sticky note around but i just want to see what i can do with one round uh see if i can get a good accurate hit we're gonna try to do it sub three seconds at 25 yards let's see what we can do
So that was a 224. And that's one hit. Walther PDP. Again, I keep saying it, this gun continues to impress. I'm overall extremely happy. I'm gonna keep running this gun. I think today puts this gun at 800 rounds so far. Um, yeah, super, super great gun. All right, guys, have a good day.